Good morning everyone. Thank you for joining us. Let's start our time together by collectively bowing down to Sri Mataji, raising our Kundalini and putting ourselves into Bandhan. We'll say three great mantras. Om Tuame Vasakshat Shri Mahalakshmi Mahasaraswati Mahakali Trigunatmika Kundalini Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Om Twame Vasaksha Shri Kalki Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuame Vasaksha Shri Kalki Saksha Shri Sahasrara Swamini Moksha Pradayini Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Moon Mantra to Shri Ganesha Om Tuame Vasakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Uh, next we're going to play some Bija Mantras posted by Sarjurga Scandinavia. Uh, the vibrations are so much stronger if you sing along, but you can still um, feel the benefits by perhaps putting your hand on, on the um, corresponding chakras and keeping your attention at Sarasrara. So please enjoy.
It was so windy yesterday, it inspired me to include this beautiful version of the 32 Holy Names of Sri Durga Mata in our program today. It can be found in our Sahaja Yoga Mantra books. Um, my copy is the 7th edition and it's on page 107. And the following quote can be found right at the end. Sri Duga says, any human being who recites this garland of my names will no doubt be free from all types of fear, danger and evil.
दुर्गा दुर्गा तिशमि दुर्गा पदवी निवारिणी दुर्गा दुर्गा तिशमि दुर्गा पदवी निवारिणी दुर्गम चेरिणी दुर्ग साधिनी दुर्गनाशिनी दुर्गा दुर्गा तिशमि दुर्गा पदवी निवारिणी दुर्गा दुर्गा तिशमि दुर्गा पदवी निवारिणी
पी शमनी दुर्गा पदवी निवारिणी दुर्गा दुर्गा पी शमनी दुर्गा पदवी निवारिणी नामावली मस्तु दुर्गाया मम मानव पटे सर्वयान्मुक्त भविष्य न संशय साक्षाश्री आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देव नमो नमः to them now you see you will meet three types of new people firstly those who are yogis or you can call them as people of previous birth who are already very knowledgeable and are there just they can feel it this is it you won't have much problem with them they know it is so to them it's very obvious and you'd be amazed the way they are there how they have taken to it so easily <clears throat> now the second type are the people who may be still believing non believing maybe some who are doubting maybe or maybe some who are asking questions about it quite a lot so is not sufficient only for you to get your realization also not sufficient for you that you feel the vibrations and that you can give realizations to other that won't help much you have to know how to deal with various types of people like i would say a person who is a say a priest who comes to you and wants to talk to you about god they start and all so you must know bible very well i know bible in the way a sir jogi should know the other day he used to telephone to tell me that I told him to study Quran because I said Islam means surrender but before realization surrender has no meaning and he told me that it's written in Quran that unless and until you are connected with God you cannot understand anything what is written here it's clearly said now when the muslims talk to you you can tell them this is written in Quran are you connected with God Now they might say, "Are you connected?" Now then, if you say yes, then finished. <laughs> then Mr. Ego will come up, you see, suddenly, and you be careful. So this subject should be treated with a bar spoon. Like uh, <laughs> such a question, if they ask, you see, they will be like that. Are you that? like in the beginning they used to ask me what's your father what's your mother who are you this that all those things you said so at that time you have to give an answer to them uh can you give this lady a chair to sit down what's up no all right 
बसा तो बसा सो सच अ क्वेश्चन इफ यू आंसर इन दैट मैन यू हैव नॉट बीन क्लेवर इन यू हैव टू बी वेरी क्लेवर then you should say see there are avoid the subject don't answer just say ki there are descriptions about a person who is a realized soul jung has said that you have to become collectively conscious now what is collectively conscious that is on your central nervous system you should be able to feel another person now you have said so it's a point then you have got other people to quote william blake you can quote you can quote other poets or saints whom you know it depends on what sort of a person you are dealing with but just don't say yes i am realized so people have been crucified murdered poisoned for saying that so be careful put it on somebody else and say yes uh, the signs of a realized soul are like this that he has to be collectively conscious first of all that you have read you or you know so much about collective consciousness itself will put them right in their own places to begin with because you have to be knowledgeable in these modern times and you should be able to communicate just by telling them i am realized so i have to awaken your kundalini nobody is going to believe even in india people don't believe that we can give realization or well, they know about realization they know about kundalini they know everything but still they cannot believe that we like ordinary people can give realization to them so in no way you should be diffident but try to bring them round to somebody as because the human nature is such the one who is living the one who is existing they don't want to accept whosoever it is dead you see and written somewhere anything in black and white and if you say in this book this is this written they like it that's why you have to be knowledgeable you must read books which are supportive of your realization supportive of search then only you can talk to them if you are just having realization you can give realization you have got vibrations that won't work out especially in the western countries where people are too much here nothing there you have to tell them that we are also intelligent enough and we also understand it with our brains and logic what is the truth is then after their realization of course is much easier but if you say all right come along i have to give you realization you cannot you cannot force them you cannot they have to ask for it after all this is a protocol of the divine also the divine cannot fall at the feet of people oh please come and have your realization no, that's too much but there are ways and ways by which you can ask people and work it out but i must tell you one thing that all the surgeries before they started i started surgery in the west and especially in england also you see whenever i talk to them they are very anxious how to get more people into surgery how to bring more people what to do for more people how to manage or they would think somebody to be very um, spiritual or something so mother can i bring that fellow and it would turn out to be a horrid stuff you see <laughs> it would burn my hands it would burn everything <laughs> i would say now how do you mean what do, what made you think that is spiritual mother he talks so much of spirituality that's not the thing it, it is a caliber is a inner caliber 
a person must have. He may be an ordinary person. He may not be earning so much money. He might be on the street. But the inner caliber has to be there. Otherwise, what's the use of breaking your head against a wall? So this the idea of having more and more is wrong. But to have people who are of that caliber, of that quality, and who deserve it. So many do not deserve it. So what to do? You cannot just, it's not like a barber shop that you can uh, make the head uh, dress the way you like. The Sahasrara has to open out. You see, the Kundalini has to come out. It has to work that way. You cannot just say, all right, now you've got realization. You can't say that. All the time the Kundalini is falling down, you should say, all right, sorry, sir, I'm sorry. Finished. And the more you show as if you are seeking elections for the votes, the more they'll be worse. If somebody doesn't get realization, well and good. For example, a lady met me in a place and she said, uh, I want to have realization. I said, all right, uh, I'll try. <laughs> then she wrote three letters to me, sent her photographs and she... And then she says, I don't know why you don't write to me. I've been writing to you, this and that. I know it's a difficult task to give a realization. Oh, so I wrote to her, all right, when I come next in June, you can come along. But there could be somebody who might be of that caliber. You can feel it. You are knowledgeable yourself. You can feel the vibrations, you can feel it, and you can then take that person seriously. So work on the people who are simple, who have that caliber. Of course, they could be very much spoiled also because of seeking. But if they are intense and sincere, then the best thing is to work it out with complete assiduity and attention to such a person. But if it's a fashion, you see, because they are going to many gurus and they are doing some lots of guru shopping, then you should say, there's no shop here. You can't pay. First of all, you can't pay. If they understand that, then it's all right. Say, like one fellow from the BBC came in and uh, he said, we can't believe in a guru who doesn't take any money. I said, then all right, you go to such a guru who takes money from you. I have nothing to say. He said, what did he say? Ag Anglo-Saxon brain. I don't know what that brain is, especially made by God or not. <laughs> Cannot understand anyone who can do such a thing without money. Such a person, you should say, all right, thank you very much, I'm sorry. You see, you are beyond me, you are too great. Sorry. Not hurting the person, but such ideas, such things, if they have their in brains, you cannot break such a hard nut, can you? And you should not feel sorry for that. For see their vibrations, see their caliber. Caliber is the only way you can judge how much attention is to be paid what is to be done. For some people it's so obvious, so obvious. And some people go on arguing, arguing with you. But all of them now are good sajogis, despite the fact they argued quite a lot with me to begin with. Now they are very good sajogis. But now time has come for you to have a quick result. And you will meet people who will be very good. I'm sure you'll meet all of them who are in England and you, you will be able to manage that. Your ways, your methods, your styles will convince them. Today only Dr. Banwas told me that many people are getting interested now in Sir Yoga because they can see the change that comes in, the transformation, the uh, confidence, everything that they see. So you should not try to force Sahaja Yoga on anyone, it's better that you see their caliber. Caliber is very easy to make up. You just say it and it is there. 
they know. Yes, that's it.
Check the last verse of the three great mantras. Om Twame Sapshak Shri Kalki Sapshak Shri Sahasra Swamini Moksha Pradaini Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha That concludes our program this morning. When you're ready to finish your meditation, please bow down to Srimasji, raise your kundalini and put yourself into bandhan. Have a wonderful day everybody. Jai Shri Mataji.